Good morning. Hello, everyone. Hi, Sarah. Hello. That was a nice shuffle. Hi, guys. Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. Where are you guys watching from this morning? England. Hey, Cass. Grand Rising. Where are y'all watching from today? Vermont. Oh, I love it. East Coast. Colorado in the house. I literally just started, you guys, so I'm just letting the live populate a little bit. Hey, Courtney. Iowa. Hello. Oklahoma. I was in the OKC over this morning. Nashville, Tennessee, Gulf Coast, love it. South Carolina, welcome to the party. Sorry, my alter ego is Southern, so I like to think I have a good Southern accent, but I probably don't. Where is everyone watching from today? I just popped on, so y'all have not missed a thing. Chicago, hello, hello, hello. Um, if you guys don't mind and you want to show me some love and help me work with this algorithm, please keep tapping the screen to like the live. Help assist out. Ooh, Portugal, how fun. Hello, Portugal. Hello, hello, hello. Awesome, thanks for the likes, guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Awesome, awesome. So I'm gonna do the weekly collective today. Um, I usually do them on Sundays, but my energy just was not that great yesterday, so I took a day off of social media. <laughs> Washington State, hello. Oh my God, Rob, how are you? I'm doing better today because I took a break from social media. <laughs> My whole bit, most of my business is on social media, so it's hard to take a step back because you guys expect to see me, but I needed a break. Mm. Clearly, I need a longer break. I can't drink properly. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello, hello. Let me know where y'all are watching from if you're just popping in. Let me know where y'all are watching from. South Carolina, Ireland. Oh, I love it. I'm Irish, Tennessee, New York. Hello, New York in the house. I'm in Jersey, by the way. Connecticut, Washington. I'm in New Jersey. Utah. Hello. New York. Oh, York. East Yorkshire. United Kingdom. Very cool. Nebraska. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Um, all right. So, Welcome, welcome. I'm gonna get started. Uh, hi everyone who's new. My name is Jacqueline. I'm the Holistic Siren and on my channel, this is what I do. I help you guys heal physically, emotionally, and spiritually. How do I do that? Um, from a physical standpoint, I have my master's degree in nutrition and dietetics and education. So I help you guys through um, nutrition strategies and self-care solutions. I specialize in gut health, autoimmune, hormonal imbalances, um, specifically women's health. Okay, so I know the body like the back of my hand. Um, from a spiritual perspective, I'm a natural born psychic medium. I'm also a tarot reader and Reiki practitioner. So I help heal your energy, clear your aura, align your chakras, and just get rid of any negative shit that you do not need to carry. Okay, um, but that's what I do on my channel. So if you guys like that, let me know in the comments. Um, also, every single day we have a 30K like goal. Okay. So if you guys would like to be part of our team, keep tapping the screen to like the live as much as you can, um, to help us reach our goal of hitting 30 K likes. Okay. Um, we usually hit it in like 20 minutes. So let's try and stick to that. I'm very goal oriented, very goal oriented. Okay. Anyway, anyway, um, I'm going to do the collective. This is a crazy week. This is a crazy effing week. Um, today, you guys might feel a little disconnected from your emotions. The moon is in Aquarius right now. Um, 
We also have a couple tense aspects with Mars and Venus and Capricorn. Um, if you guys, I'm, I'm learning astrology right now, so um, I'm going to try and give you like the lowdown of the energy. Um, expect a lot of unexpected conversations around relationships, not just romantic. I mean, business partnerships, family members, friends. Okay, your anxiety might be through the fucking roof and you may not, you may have a hard time kind of releasing it. All right. Um, we're also in new moon energy. So you guys may have anxiety, like excited anxiety about this new cycle coming up. Okay, the new moon is bringing us into, yeah, and the and clearly like what's going on in, um, I can't say the countries because I don't want to get booted off TikTok live, but you guys get what I'm saying. Um, anyway. Anyway, um, there's a lot of anxiety in the collective, but there's also a lot of tense aspects in the astrology, okay? And the time before the new moon right now, so confirmation, um, the time before the new moons is a time of releasing before manifesting, okay? So if you have, it, I would suggest you do a burning bowl ritual before the actual new moon on Wednesday, March 2nd, or just writing down what you want to release and tearing it up, flushing it down the toilet because the, um, the moon will be in Pisces, which is a water sign. So if you want to use water in your release ritual, you can do that. Um, and then write your intentions and what you want to manifest. All right. Um, the time before the new moon, a lot of people don't realize it's time to like release shit. Okay. Release what is holding you back. Um, but yeah, um, I also will be hosting a new moon fresh start Reiki. Okay. A new moon embrace your fresh start Reiki. So I, during that session, it's about, it's a little over an hour. I'm going to host it on Monday, um, Wednesday, March 2nd. It's like an hour long. Um, it includes Reiki. So I'll be clearing out your chakras, um, clearing out your aura of the past and things you want to release. I'll also be doing an abundance activation. Okay. To welcome in any money, career, or relationship or love goals, including self-love also heightened your intuition. I also do a collective new moon tarot reading to let you guys know what to expect over the next uh, 28 day moon cycle. If you would like to join that session, the link is in my TikTok bio. But anyway, 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 thanks for all the hearts, guys. Keep tapping, keep tapping. Let's reach our goal. Um, but who's ready for the collective reading? Tell me in the comments. I love interaction, so interact. Who is ready? Tell me. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Yes, queen, let's go. All right, cool. All right. So um, I'm going to start with Oracle. Um, I'm going to do overall energy potential challenges and then solutions like how you can overcome the challenge or challenges but I'm going to start with oracle first and then I'm going to clarify with tarot all right um so this is my moonology deck you guys have probably seen a lot of readers use this I'm using this because we have a new moon okay we're a new moon energy um you can work with new moon energy new and full moon energy three days before three days after so we have officially been in new moon energy since yesterday okay but here we go God's source universe divine creative all things what is the overall energy for this week? Okay, that's like way too many. Clearly a lot. I just need one. Is that one? No. One, please. Thank you. Hold your vision, fixed moon. Hold your vision. Basically what, what I'm getting from that is don't give up on your dream yet. Don't give up. All right, so let's see what the uh, what the potential challenge is. Doesn't mean it's gonna happen. Emotions are running high. We got Moon and Pisces, baby. Moon and Pisces, baby. Oh man, emotions are running high. That's the potential challenge. I told you there's some crazy conversations gonna be had over the next like three days. Okay, and this is the solution. Ah, okay. Balance, practicality, and spirituality. Full moon in Pisces. So there's that Piscean energy. I fuck it, you guys, we've been getting this card for like two weeks. Um, full moon in Cancer. A personal issue reaches resolution. 
a personal issue reaches resolution. So this could be family, friend, or romantic partner. Um, could be a personal issue with yourself as well. Um, anything that was going on during the full moon in Cancer in January, I would look back in January of this year. Full moon in Cancer, what were you dealing with then? Okay. Um, all right. So let's... Oh, shit. So let's see. Overall energy is hold your vision. Fixed moon. I just keep hearing don't give up. I keep hearing don't give up with this card. Um, all right, but let's see. God's Christian Vision and Creole Things. Can you please clarify the hold your vision card for general energies for this week? Whoa. Dude, six of wands right off the bat. Are you for real? Success this week, guys. Some of you are, are achieving something. Six of wands is um, overcoming um, competition. So maybe you guys... Okay, let me dig deeper, but... Um, Hold your vision too. Keep visualizing. A lot of you are, use visualization as a manifestation technique. If you're not, start. Um, Six of Wands, you're overcoming some sort of challenge, some sort of conflict, fighting, competition. Um, you could be reaching a big milestone or a goal of some sort, but let's dig a little bit deeper. Clarify the Six of Wands. Ah, okay. You guys are getting out of your heads. Eight of Swords. You're overcoming self-imposed, wow, overcoming self-imposed restriction. It's almost like you guys believe that you can achieve. Believe and you will achieve. Um, Eight of Swords in the reverse is like escaping self-sabotage. Maybe some of you guys have been trying to overcome self-sabotage. You've been reflecting on how you self-sabotage a lot, okay, or the patterns that, that were self-sabotaging. Maybe you guys are releasing someone Huh, who plays into your self-sabotage. Ace of Wands. Ooh, okay. Ace of Wands. Here, here's that fresh start. That's new, that new beginning energy. Ace of Wands. This is a new passionate beginning. New passionate cycle um, of fun, spontaneity, um, positive change. So this could be um, a new job, um, a new site or a new cycle in your job or a new job a new business, a new cycle in your business. I'm tapping into your creativity. This could be a new passionate relationship coming in. Um, we are moving into March. Mar guys, we are officially out of all post-shadow retrograde periods. So um, that means March is a crazy good month to go after your goals, especially um, on March 20th when we move into Aries season. That's my season because I'm Aries sun moon. Um, but March, you guys, if set goals and go after them, the, the energy of this month is ridiculous, okay? So, like, I feel like a lot of you guys um, release a lot of people that no longer serve you, a lot of situations, jobs, energies, things, okay, like clothes, like whatever, um, and energy, maybe even you moved, like moved your place of living or something, but you guys are... Okay, hold on. There's another message here. Okay, there's some. There's definitely abundance coming in. Not only success, but abundance with that six of wands. It's coming in very fast. It's something a uh, success and abundance with regard to something you love. Could be someone you love or something you love. Okay, take it as it resonates. Um, and it's gonna get you out of your head. It's gonna get you out of your head. To me, what I'm hearing is I did deserve it. I do deserve this. I do deserve this new beginning. It's like a complete mindset shift for you guys because you, you're getting something maybe you thought you would never get regarding something that you love or someone that you love. And you're it, it's like kicking you out of your head, like getting you out of your racing thoughts, your self-sabotage. Interesting. This could be an offer of some sort too, by the way. This could be an offer of some sort. Again, like a job offer, a, um, a business opportunity, a rom like, a, a pa like a romantic offer, or an offer to tap into your, to use your creativity for something, maybe in the public eye or on social media. Six of Wands is very like social media um, or in the public, in front of people. Interesting. Wow. 
Um, I'm going to use, because this is the weekly, I'm going to use a second tarot deck, you guys. You guys you guys love this deck. The Lunasomnia. You guys absolutely love this deck. All right, so I'm going to pull it a little bit more. Because I like to see if there's any repeats. Oh, my God. This headband is like, ugh. All right. Mmm. I don't see anything from the past. My love, this is all about releasing the past. So I would let go of the past. Yes, be ready for very positive. With that six of wands coming out right away, guys, that's a lot of positive change. That's overcoming a lot of conflict, someone you were in conflict with, in competition with, or someone who made you feel like you were in competition with them all the time. This is you overcoming doubt, okay, overcoming doubt that other people like placed in your mind okay like so for example if people in your circle were, were like don't do that don't change your life don't go after your passion or what you love because it's so scary and you've never done it aka what they're saying is i'm projecting my fear onto you and i want you to stay in the same little box that i'm in sorry that had to come out whoa do not let and you guys are not letting anyone keep you in a fucking box Brandon, I was right. I, uh, well, I'm, well, I don't know if I'm glad about that, but <laughs> all right. Some, some people want, Ooh, okay. Someone tried to sabotage you guys. Huh? Someone tried to sabotage your new beginning. You going after what you love because they're too afraid to go after what they love. Misery loves motherfucking company, dude. Misery loves motherfucking company. He can't enter Oh, that's great. Brandon, that's really positive. Congrats, my love. I'm so happy for uh, for your partner. Um, anyway, bottom of the deck, you guys, King of Pentacles. Um, yeah, some of you guys are reaching some financial goals. Some of you guys are reaching some financial goals, King of Pentacles. Okay, so this is like um, becoming very independent financially. Okay, becoming very independent financially or embracing financial independence, taking ownership of your finances. Like I, I said this earlier without seeing this, there's some sort of financial goal that you guys may be hitting. Maybe you're getting a promotion and uh, moving into like a, an executive or um, like a higher level position, or you're just like, you're taking care of your own shit, which is awesome and empowering. The King of Pentacles is very empowered. You're stepping into your divine masculine. Okay, or you guys could be dealing with a um, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Maybe this is the what I'm getting a little bit too is um, this could be the person that was trying to sabotage you. Okay, trying to keep you under their thumb, whether financially or uh, like uh, trying to make you think you needed them, but in the end, you don't need fucking anybody but yourself. But anyway, let's clarify. Yeah, three of wands. You guys have a bigger vision. Hold your vision and then three of wands. This is your ships coming in, you guys. Your ships coming in. So make sure, guys, I'm telling you, visualize as a manifestation technique. Three of wands, ship coming in, reaching goals. Are you serious? Two of wands, you're reaching goals because of the work you put in in the past. Because of the work you put in the past. You honor the past. You understand the lessons from the past, but you move the fuck forward. You move the fuck forward, guys. Wow. Yeah. King of Cups in the reverse. Um, it was an emotional ride. It was an emotional ride for you guys. A uh, King of Cups in the reverse is kind of like... Um, mm, Your environment dictating your emotions, okay? I feel like you guys realize that you were allowing other people, situations that were happening to unground you. And that was a lesson you learned, okay? Two of Wands is, is reflecting, okay? Um, and planning. 
So I feel like you guys, like during the planning process, you may have had anxiety about this new thing you want to do, this new job, this new cycle, this new path, this new embracing your independence, whatever it is, whatever this new thing you're doing is, it causes a lot of anxiety and like, un, like feeling ungrounded, like unsure. Okay. But you guys move forward anyway. Also, some of you guys could be moving on from a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a masculine. Doesn't have to be... Um, a, a, a like male gender it could just be a, a female in her masculine but take it as it resonates a masculine who acted stoic like they had everything together but they were emotional emotionally inept not connected with their emotions selfish greedy emotionally greedy too all about them me 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 y'all are moving on from that shit from selfish people i feel like I feel like you guys are moving on from selfish people, like a conditional love. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Love with conditions. And listen, this could be friends, family, or romantic partners. Conditions on love. What the fuck? Love is unconditional by definition. So what the fuck is conditional love? It doesn't exist. It's called selfishness. Conditional love is called being selfish, period. And y'all don't have time for that because what? You got a new beginning. Look at this. The full new beginning. Are you fucking kidding me? A new financial beginning, a new beginning, um, embracing your independence. Uh, I was actually journaling about this yesterday for myself because for anyone who doesn't know my story, um, little quick snippet of what's been going on in my life. December 6th of 2021, so last year, only three months ago, um, I left my fiance that I was with for four years. We lived together um, because I found that he was cheating on me for over a year, was lying and cheating and manipulating and whatever. Um, I left and you guys, it was the hardest fucking thing I've ever done. And I feel this so much, so much. Like I completely uprooted my life. I had to leave the house. Um, I'm buying a new house now. I'm actually closing in a week, which I'm so excited about. Um, I bought my own place. Like I make my own fucking money. I don't need him for anything, let alone love. I had to learn to love myself and I'm still learning how to do that because I'm like a, I'm a giver. Like I try to prove my worth prove to my partner, please love me because I do this for you. And I do that. And I give and give and give and give and give and give. But beloved, you will not attract the love you deserve if you do not love yourself. So I'm taking this time, what, to embrace my independence, my new beginning and my independence to learn how to love myself. Okay. Because I will not accept what I got. I will never accept that again. I don't deserve that. And I can't attract anyone who loves me properly if I don't love myself first, okay? But anyway, The Fool, this is a brand new book, you guys. You guys closed closed the old book of the past. You guys are opening up a brand new fucking book. It's crazy, crazy. Um, who's ready for the second row? Potential challenges. Who's ready? Tell me in the comments, guys. Guys, keep tapping the screen to like the live. We're 2K away from 30,000 likes. And we've got half the people in here. Let's go, dude. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Oh, um, if you guys are liking the reading, if it's resonating for you... Please share it. There's like a little arrow thing. Please share it. It helps me work with the algorithm too. All right, so let's do this. Ooh, I love, my cards were shuffling like shit the past couple days. But now they're shuffling so nice. Okay, so just a friendly reminder, the ch potential challenges, the oracle card is emotions are running high, super moon. But let's see. Cosmos Universe to my career, all things. Please clarify. Super Moon emotions are running high. What are the potential challenges these, this week? Remember, this is potential. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. So take what? Are you serious? Okay. Whoa. Someone might project their shit onto you. The moon. That's what I heard. Someone might project their shit onto you. 
the moon. Um, a lot of fear. Um, Okay, a lot of you guys are working through, um, sh like, shadow work. A lot of you guys are working through shadow work, which is bringing up a lot of emotions. Okay, you're processing a lot. You're releasing a lot. Okay, so with the moon, it represents illusions, fears. It also represents the mother archetype, so it could represent um, mother wounds, okay, or wounds um, passed through generations through the mother. Um But to me, this is giving me like projection, like gaslighting almost, gaslighting from someone. It could be anyone. It doesn't have to be just a romantic partner. Um, this could also be you projecting your shit onto someone else because you're so emotional. So I would be very mindful of that this week just because the new moon, new moons aren't usually very emotional. But with the other astrological aspects going on with Mars and Venus, um, I would be very careful, okay? Um, there could be like emotional outbursts or people being extra nasty, okay? People being extra nasty. Um, but anyway, we have the devil, the five of swords, and the seven of wands. Yeah, someone... Mm, Someone you had a trauma bond with or like someone you were had a toxic attachment with that you may have walked away from could be <laughs> on the attack. Could be saying very hurtful things. They're saying things simply to hurt you, okay? Attack your progress. See, this, this combination is giving me, um, okay, they're digging into your fears, you, this person knows how to how to hurt you. This person knows how to hurt you. Okay, the moon, they know your insecurities. They know your insecurities. Okay. Um, they're trying to make you question your... Someone may cause you to question your progress. Or if you question yourself, if that is something you do, you may be falling into that. Have I really made it this far? Have I progressed this much? Have I really like grown? Okay. But what I like about this is that you're fighting, not fighting back, you're defending yourself. Because we have the six of wands, right? In the first row, that's success, achieving something that you love, uh, regarding something you love. And then seven of wands is defending that success, defending your position. So someone is going to try and like come at you, possibly, or your own mind. It could be your own mind, your ego. Okay, take it as it resonates. Um, what I, so you may, you could get into defensiveness energy. What I'm going to say with this is, because we have uh, the moon on the bottom of the deck and the star, and the fool. You guys are approaching things differently with this person or with situations that trigger you in general. Um, the moon, you've been taking a dark, a, a deep look at yourself, self-reflection. Uh, like I said, shadow work or like reprogramming self-limiting beliefs or traumas that are deep. Here's the, here's um, the star. So healing. And look, the fool, you guys are approaching things differently. Okay, you're approaching things differently because you're healing. You're not triggered by the same things. You're not triggered as badly. Okay, um, Aquarius is an air. This is Aquarius, the sign of Aquarius, this card. So um, Aquarius um, is an air sign. So think like communication. You're communicating differently. You're communicating differently. You're talking to yourself differently. You're thinking differently, or at least you're trying to. And you guys are making headway, but that's the potential challenge, how you speak to yourself. And um, are you going to allow people to trigger you, people from the past trigger you and try to make you question how far you've come? I personally, well, we'll get into that, but. Yeah, someone may want a piece of your success too. There's something here about trying to reattach the trauma bond, trying to reattach the toxicity, the um, 
latch back onto your energy because you're you're elevating beloved you're fucking elevating and sometimes people want to go along for the ride but if they're not doing their work you can't come you can't come you did all this fucking work to get your six of wands get your eight of swords in the reverse cut out this self-sabotage bullshit okay You've set goals, you've done shadow work, you've cried, you've screamed, maybe some of you broke shit, maybe some of you had to move like I did and completely uproot my life. You ain't got time for this shit, man. You ain't got time for this. You are standing your ground. Or at least that's the challenge. Will you stand your ground? Sorry, this is the challenge, potential challenges. Will you stand your ground or will you fall back into being submissive to this person? Will you fall back and... Um, fall back into bad habits, negative mindsets, old um, obsessions or addictions, okay? Um, the devil can represent addictions to food, alcohol, drugs, addiction to a person, um, a, uh, a, a behavior. It's, it's totally your choice. It's your choice. I'm going to leave this here because... All right, so let's clarify with the tarot. Let's clarify. Let's see. Page of Wands. Okay, so that is taking the road less traveled energy. Page of Wands is being excited about this new path, this new unknown path that you have, um, that you're starting to walk on. Six of Swords. Eight of Wands. Wow, a lot of fire energy. Um, we've got... And then I like this, um, Queen of uh, Queen of Cups. Yeah, we've got a lot of fire. Aries, Leo, Sag, ton of fire. Wow, a lot of passion, a lot, a lot of creativity. Very solar plexus, divine masculine energy. You guys ain't taking no shit this week. You guys are like full steam ahead. Nothing's going to stop me from being who I know I can be. I am embracing my authenticity, who I truly am, and no one's going to stop me. But anyway, Queen of Cups as a potential challenge with the moon. Yeah, it's just having a hold over your emotions. It's having a hold over your emotions. I feel like if any of you guys have an interaction with a person that you walked away from or a situation and it comes up again, uh... If you're triggered, try, um, you may want to like fight back. Okay. You may want to be like, well, you're saying I did this. Well, you did this and that, bah, 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 bah. whatever. Okay. What is that? Oh my God. Don't react, reflect. Don't react, reflect. I read that in, um, I read that in my Oracle book today. Um, mm, what I like to say is don't react, respond. A reaction and a response to very different things, to very, very different things. Okay. Um, Queen of Cups. I also feel like it might be difficult for you to be empathetic with this person or the situation because it was hurtful because they hurt you. That five of swords, that's, that's, that's rough shit. That's tough. But I love that we have the five of swords and then six of swords. So what I would say is if you guys are empaths, shut it off. What does that mean? I literally mean shut off your empathy. It doesn't mean you're shutting off your emotions, but you can say God or your higher power, whatever, or whoever you pray to, please shut off my empathy during this interaction. And you can shut off your empathy whenever you want, and then you can turn it back on. It's not like you shut it off forever. That's what I do anytime I talk or anytime I have to have an interaction with my ex because I really don't like interacting with him because um, his energy is just heavy. Um, I have to turn my empathy off. All right. So be understanding, but don't give emotionally. You get what I'm saying? Like if this person plays the pity party, like 
understand internally that they are going through something. They're going through their own healing journey, but that doesn't mean you need to support them. You can be empathetic and not support them. Yes, protecting your energy. It's a, it's a type of boundary. It's setting boundaries, okay, with your empathy. You're no longer just giving it all willy-nilly, okay? You're guarding your empathy because not everyone deserves it, beloved. Not everyone deserves for you to support them emotionally. That's too much energy, too much pressure, way too much pressure. But anyway, all right, so clarifying. Oh, yeah. So clarifying. So the devil with the page of wands. Yeah, it's just um, it's anxiety about separating from the old habits that aren't serving you anymore. Page of wands is like you being a, 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 a different person, a new person, a new version of yourself. So there could be fear or old attachments to the old to your old life that you may find difficult to move forward on okay five of swords six of clarify by the six of swords um yeah someone's gonna make you feel bad about walking away like you chose to walk away and this is why this happened and blah 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 five of swords six of swords someone's gonna make you feel bad make you the bad guy you're gonna be painted as a bad guy here okay um i feel like there are still some residual emotions regarding you walking away and moving on okay you guys are moving on but you're still like a little beat up from the experience um so what i'm hearing is flow with grace give yourself compassion give empathy to you your empathy deserves to go to you okay and then eight of wands wow we have six seven eight six seven eight wow Six, seven, eight of wands. Six, seven, eight of wands. Seven of wands, eight of wands. Make it a quick interaction. Things are going to be said very quickly. This person is either really manipulative, really quick-witted, or just really knows how to attack. When they're on the attack, it's it gets you in your emotions, okay? They know how to dig into your insecurities, okay? Because you're still working on it. You're still working on it. All right? But anyway, um, who's ready to see, uh, who wants to know the third row? Third row, which is um, the solutions, which starts with the full moon in Pisces, card, balance, spirituality, and practicality. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Let's see. Cosmos Universe, Divine Critical Things. Please clarify the solutions for the challenges, balance, practicality, spirituality, and practicality. Wow, a lot of pentacles. Okay. Bottom of the deck is two of pentacles. Okay. So um, I'm going to start with... Uh, So, uh, sorry, I want to go back to the challenges for a tiny, tiny bit because I was talking about finances a little bit earlier. Some of you may question that, it, do I have the resources to move into this new path, this new cycle? Do I have enough money? Do I have enough support? Do I have, an, you know what I'm saying, like tangible things? Because we have a lot of pentacle energy here now. But what I like about the challenges is it's all up here. You actually do. It's just you need to believe it, Okay. Um, two of Pentacles is about uh, uh, prioritization. Okay, what's a priority? What isn't? You you have everything in balance, but things can kind of go off kilter at the drop of a hat. Um, so the the solution here to the challenges are what's a priority and what's not. Who is a priority and who is not? Who is 
throwing you off balance, who's fucking with your energy and who isn't, who belongs in your life and who doesn't, who brings balance and who doesn't. Okay. And look, we got the fucking scales. Are you serious? Justice, two cards of balance, quite literally. Okay. This is Libra energy. Um, now the justice card, because it's Libra energy, uh, represents balance and harmony and finances and relationships. Um, in your career. All right. Same with pentacle energy. This is also your health and wellness. So some of you guys, um, are, are kicking to the curb, um, bad eating habits. Again, maybe addictions like smoking or food or drugs and alcohol. That's for some of you, or you're kicking some people to the side, like, sorry, like you throw me off balance. It's not worth it. You are not a priority. Okay. Um, that's just the bottom of the deck though. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Like, Okay. I just, uh, I actually just heard this or binge watching tarot. Yeah. Watching too much tarot can give you a lot of anxiety. Um, but anyway, uh, balance, spirituality, and practicality. If anything, if you feel resistance in anything, don't do it. For example, like if you're, you're in a job that you hate, that's a lot of resistance. So why the hell would you stay there? Okay, the, we're taught to stay in things or do things that are hard because then we can like we can wear it as a badge of our honor that like there's so much martyrdom in our society. It's crazy. Um, you're not a martyr because you stay in a job you hate like that. You're not winning at anything um, or doing something you you dislike at the expense of your emotional well-being to help someone else like that's not anyway so balance spirituality and practicality meditate more so you understand what belongs in your life and what doesn't okay because practicality too like you may think oh I shouldn't spend money on this or I shouldn't exert energy on this but you can or you may think you can't and you can okay so kind of look at your day-to-day -day from a more spiritual perspective like what do I feel like doing today what feels good to me it's okay to shift your perspective in that manner because that's what you're actually supposed to do yes we have certain obligations but look at the spiritual uh benefit of those obligations but also tap in with what feels resistant to you and what can you actually drop who can you drop out of your life all right but the solution, four of pentacles, okay, nine of pentacles, eight of cups in the reverse. Walk away from the idea that you cannot handle everything on your own. That literally is the solution. Walk away, release the idea, the mindset that you cannot handle your shit on your own. Nine of pentacles, period. All right. Eight of cups in the reverse to me regarding this is uh, having to walk away from something within yourself. Okay. Four of pentacles. Yes, this is a card of control, but it's also a card of stability. Foundations. Laying new foundations in what? Your self-worth. Yes, your finances, your health and wellness. Okay. And walking away internally from, from the belief that you can't handle it on your own because you can you are the only one who can bring balance into your life. No one else is going to do it for you. You have to figure it out on your own. But anyway, I'm going to clarify with more tarot. Let's see. Whoa. Hmm. Um, Knight of Cups. Okay, so go after, again, go after what doesn't feel uh, resistant to you. Go after what emotionally fulfills you, Knight of Cups. Um, it's interesting. I, you guys, we got the Seven of Wands again. We got the Seven of Wands in two different decks. Once in the, um, the obstacles and once in the solution. Hold on, I need to pull another card. What the fuck? Okay. 
We got the King of Pentacles again too. Independence, you guys. I'm not kidding you. Independence is the name of the game. Embracing your independence, releasing the past. Six of Cups. Embracing your independence six, um, and releasing the past. Some of you too, um, some of you who are moms, let your kids embrace their independence. Don't stifle them. That's for some of you, only some. Oh my God, you guys, I'm sorry, I totally missed it. We hit 30K likes, that's amazing. Let's go for 50. So keep tapping the screen to like the live. We're on a friggin' roll. Yeah, some of you are like, I love my kids, but they're like older now and they're starting to be independent. Let them fucking be independent. You're not gonna like it if they're co if you have codependent children as they get older. You're not gonna you're not gonna like it. Um, let's be real. Um, sorry, I, I don't have kids, but I'm I'm tapping into your guides right now. So your guides are telling me you won't like it. But King of Pentacles, again, this is so much divine masculine energy, you guys. Sitting in that solar plexus, setting boundaries, dude. Four of Pentacles, your emotional stability. Prioritize your emotional stability. That's the, that's the, um, the solution. Okay. One part of the solution, four of pentacles, knight of cups, prioritize your emotional stability. Remember the prioritization I was talking about earlier. That's what it is. Your emotional stability is the priority, not this other person or this other situation in the challenge. Whereas in the past you prioritized or made more important to stabilize someone else's emotions the solution is to do the opposite of that okay nine of yeah okay nine of pentacles seven of wands defend your position defend your growth defend your worthiness because you are defend your bag some some people are greedy like some people might want to come after your money for some of you i don't know some moochers or some shit um so defend your money because you worked your ass off for that shit that's for some of you um Just because you have it doesn't mean you need to give it, is what I'm hearing. Let them get it from someone else. There's a lesson in that for them. Also, defend your defend your right that... Because remember I was talking about you guys going into old mindsets a little bit because emotions are running high this week. Defend your worthiness to yourself. Some of you may tell yourself, I don't deserve that. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve that. Why the fuck would you say that to yourself? You do deserve it. Whatever you're manifesting, whatever is coming into your life, beloved, these beautiful things, you deserve it. You are worthy of it. You always have been. It's just you didn't believe that you were, but you are. I'm here to tell you that you are 110%. If you need to write down in your journal, I am worthy of abundance in every form a hundred times and read it out loud until you fucking get it, then do it because oh no, that's not the right, the right card. Look at this fucking peacock. Some of you might want to look up peacock um, as a spirit animal or spirit uh, animal totem, peacock. Um, and then Eight of Cups with the Queen of Swords. Yeah, some of you need to, you know, um, be honest with yourself about what you need to walk away from. Like, it's time. It's time. Okay, Queen of Swords. This is being, um, uh, yeah, like, uh, direct with yourself. I don't want to say blunt because the Queen has compassion, compassionate truth. So have accountability with compassion with regard to what you're walking away from or what you're walking away from internally have compassion with yourself because this is a process you guys it's not easy it's not easy okay um i'm gonna pull a self-care card to end the reading um i feel like some of some of us need self-care let me know guys in the comments are you feeling self-care for this week god's rich universe divine clear welcome forms of self-care will be best for us for our healing journey this week. There's that divine feminine. Connect with your womb. 
okay? Sacral chakra, connect with your creativity. Um, you guys, Pisces, the new moon is in Pisces on Wednesday. Pisces um, is associated with your third eye and your... Um, your sacral chakra. So please take care um, if you're on your menstrual, if take care of your hormones. Um, if you're having getting your period or close to it, please take care. There can be some like hormonal issues that may pop up. Um, eating foods that are orange, um, plant-based foods would be helpful. Omega-3s, vitamin D, your B vitamins, B complex. Okay. Um, so just be mindful of that. Um, also, um, connect with your womb and go with the flow, embracing, go with the flow, connect that divine feminine, um, releasing judgment. People are, you you may feel with emotions running high. People may judge you. People may judge you or a, this person may judge you. Okay. The sacral chakra, um, if it's out of balance, you can feel very judged by other people, or you might judge yourself a lot. So connecting with your womb. Um, connecting with your sacral chakra is very important to release judgment and self-judgment. Also to go with the flow and releasing control. This is what I'm going to be uh, working on with you guys um, in the new moon Reiki session, as well as um, an abundance activation. So welcoming in your abundance and clearing any blocks to it. Okay. Um, but the link is in my bio if you guys want to sign up. Woo. Ah, look to the stars. So some of you may be doing your natal chart. Um, some of you are getting to know yourself more intimately through astrology. So look to the stars because you see all the zodiac signs here. I feel like some of you have a very basic understanding or maybe it's time to reread your natal chart. And then health checkup. What did I say about hormones and the sacral chakra? Your sacral chakra governs your reproductive system, whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. So some of you guys may want to get your hormone levels checked. Um, some of you may have PCOS or endometriosis. I'm hearing some of you don't realize you have it um, or just uh, hormonal imbalances, but it's just nice to get your blood work done every so often um, with your primary care, right? Oh, we hit 50K, guys. Oh my God, you guys are such bosses. I love you. Um, and finally, connect with crystals. Connect with crystals. Um, I am currently connecting with um, Golden Sheen Obsidian. Wait, I can't see it. This is Golden Sheen Obsidian. Um, so Golden Sheen Obsidian protects you from psychic attack, um, from negativity from others. It also protects you from other people asserting their power over you. So if someone you're dealing with is very in their ego um, and they attack you, uh, not physically, I mean like verbally, right, or emotionally, Golden Sheen Obsidian is very protective, okay? Um, so I definitely would hop on that. All right, but connect with crystals. Whatever crystals call to you, you guys, okay? But that's what I got for y'all for this week. Um, let me know what resonated for you in the comments. Um, I have a few announcements and then... But anyway, um, first announcement, like I said earlier, the new moon in Pisces, embrace your fresh start Reiki. I'm hosting it on March 2nd at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. If you cannot attend the session at that time, it's okay. You can attend it at any time. Okay. The replay is sent to everybody. All right. Um, it's an hour session. It includes Reiki, which is energy healing. I'll be clearing out any blocks in your sacral chakra, clearing out any self-judgment, judgment from others, racing thoughts, anxiety, um, helping you embrace going with the flow, releasing control, welcoming in your abundance. I'll also be activating your third eye, enhancing your intuition. And then there will be a group tarot reading just for that group, whoever signs up, regarding what this next 28-day cycle is bringing us, this new moon cycle, I mean. Okay, the link is in my TikTok bio. If you guys would like to join, I would love to have you. Okay, um, second announcement. If you guys like the way that I read tarot and you're kind of, you know, getting your feet wet and want to learn how to read tarot and also um, enhance your relationship with your spirit guides, my tarot school is officially open for registration. So if you guys would like to learn tarot from me and also learn how to connect with your spirit guides more efficiently, 
The link is in my TikTok bio as well. I suggest you sign up now because pricing increases every month. So tomorrow, Tarot School, uh, the price will go up again. And um, last but not least, if you would like to book a private tarot reading with me, love, career, finance, um, if you want to learn what your psychic gifts are, the link is in my TikTok bio as well. Okay. Um, any questions? Kaylee, they probably meant that you're two in your upper chakras, your throat, third eye, and crown, especially if you're high anxiety. Um, so that just means you need to ground your energy, babe. They should have told you. That's strange. Yeah, just ground your energy. Thank you. Any questions about the new moon Reiki session? Any questions about tarot school? Any questions about booking a, um, a tarot reading with me? You guys are welcome. Um, Kaylee, if you Google grounding techniques, you'll find it. Walk outside barefoot, use grounding crystals, any crystals that are black, red, or brown. You guys are so welcome. You're so welcome. Thanks, guys. I love you guys. Um, I don't have time for, um, I don't have time for readings today. Um, but I am going to post this on YouTube. I would really appreciate it if you guys would follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel, which you can find through the link in my TikTok bio. All my social media is there. Oh, uh, thanks, Kaylee. Kaylee, um, if you're having trouble, babe, check out my spiritual guidance session. I can help you with that, with grounding, but also give you um, customized strategies for when you're at home. Yeah, uh, sorry, I forgot one more thing, you guys. Um, my spiritual guidance sessions, if you guys are looking for customized solutions for your spiritual journey and your health and wellness, so like nutrition, self-care techniques, also um, meditation practices, how to connect with your guides, energy clearing, connect with, connecting with your past loved ones for messages of healing, book a spiritual guidance session with me. The link is in my TikTok bio. Um, I'm booking out into April at this point. So um, if you guys would like some individual attention where you can connect with me one-on-one -on -one, virtually, um, I would go book now. All right, guys. But I expect to see a bunch of you sign up for the Reiki as well. Yay. Any questions about the spiritual guidance session, guys? The one-on-one -on -one sessions before I hop off of here? Um, also, guys, I know a lot of you are used to um, me doing live readings. Thanks, Cass. You too. Um, if you would like a reading done today, I suggest you book my general um, my general reading option through the link in my bio. You can ask me any three questions you want, and it's actually cheaper than asking me a question on the live. Um, so if you guys are looking for um, a reading and I'll get them done today. You can book through the link in my bio. Choose the general reading option though. Okay. I'll be back on live tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Or like 9.15-ish. All right, guys. Um, any questions before I leave? Any questions before I leave, guys? Yeah, nine-ish, nine-ish. Um, how to get a reading? Um, lovey de queen. Um, just go book a general a general reading. If you go to the link in my TikTok profile, it's the link right below my profile picture. Um, choose the general reading option. That's how you get a reading. I'm not doing live readings today. The general reading option, you guys, it's recorded, so you get to keep it. And all my private readings, you guys, are recorded. So you literally can watch them as many times as you want. And again, if you want to join tarot school, you like my style of reading, you want to learn how to connect to your spirit guides, you want lifetime access to the classes, um, go check out my tarot school through the link in my TikTok bio as well. Pricing goes up tomorrow. So I would get in now if you can. Alrighty. You're welcome. All right, guys. 
I'm Audi. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. I will repost the collective reading from today for the week on YouTube. Go subscribe the holistic siren. All my social media is spelled the same way y'all. Okay. Love you guys.